Capitalize off it to get the kill. And that's what we're up here. Well, I've never tried that, so I don't know. I mean, I saw Jay do it last night. I watched basically the whole stream while I was supposed to be doing homework, so then I stayed up until like 2 to do homework. Oh dear. But I'm here now on half. We all know that struggle. And, yep, we are gonna see. Let me see the Mecha Koopa already uh, coming up. So here's the thing is I know for a fact that Ryuga Wi-Fi is a lot and at one point he was part of DMG. I don't know if he's still part of it. Tweak was also part of DMG. So I am almost positive that he knows this matchup and I'm sure that Day has him. dealt Got with it. In DMG. And I'm sure that Day has dealt with it too. Like something that you're not going to see is like Bowser Jr. matchup getting experience from this team. But they still are getting clipped by a lot and they're both at 89% right now. Oh, the back air taking the stock. Last Lucario but, with a little bit of rage on him. That's exactly what you need as Lucario. You need a little bit of you need a little bit of aura of rage. And there we go, that, good conversion, that's, but that's not that's gonna not take it. No rage on deck for Wendy. Double Lucario with rage. Please let this nightmare end soon. And there we go, good back air from yep, the Wendy. The cross and that's up back air actually out. taking the stock from Dick. Ryuga's still staying alive. So Day is the light blue Lucario and Ryuga is the classic yeah, Lucario. Yeah, Day, Day's the lighter Lucario. And Day, and, uh, Ooh, and what was that? Like, uh, is that the uh, Force Bomb? And that's that a good back, conversion right there. Did you see that? Smash. Yes. That's oh my actually goodness, that really was good. clean. Yeah, if they lose game one, I think um, Ryuga's actually going to switch to Korin. I, w I would anticipate it, but maybe not. Because this is looking like Red Team is actually going to take the lead from here on out. But this was Lu Lucario with Rage, and this game could be over just as quick as it started. Ooh, and the nice counter. counter right there. Who was that, Ryuga? Yes, that was Ryuga. That's that Corrin tech. Yeah, that's the Corrin tech. So we are seeing both Lucarios again at high percent on their second stocks this time. And just letting the Aura Spheres fly. And good up throw to up air conversion once again from that Ryuga. That trajectory almost messed Diddy Kong up. See, Diddy Kong was actually going towards the last one, but it popped up just a bit enough for him on the front to almost get killed. One thing that Dr. Clean is doing really, really well is he is power shielding a ton of these Aura Spheres. Definitely. Aura Shield, if not power shielded, Aura Spirit has enough pushback to send you a bit further away. Both Lucaros are at, like really, really scary percents. Oh. And trying for that conversion right there, Kiba just missing. Very unfortunate. This is so scary. Oh, what? The, the extreme speed? The extreme speed. Love smash. That sh probably should have been a forward smash, uh, but it was a since, dash tag. Okay, since Day has a fresh new stack, I think that he's going to be the. Okay, never mind. I'm going to say this first. I say they're both on fresh stacks now. They should both be a little bit weak right now. Mm -hmm. But they'll, they'll get some rage going and they'll get that Definitely. kill. Definitely. Let's see if Keeper can actually make this 2v1 comeback. Bowser Jr. is actually a decent character in the 2v1 because Mecha Koopa... Because he, he has certain projectiles that I can say, actually camp out the characters out. Yep, Mecha Koopa as well as... Uh, I like the fact like you know, you got the cart to explode and you got low uh, cooldown smash attacks. In so, uh, like forward smash is deceptively long lasting as well. Getting both of them jumping out of there. Oh, that almost killed with that type of rage. Kiva playing this really, really smart. You see Uppy? Yep. Ooh. And but the back that back hair is going to come through. That hammer is a somewhat laggy option. Very laggy. If he hadn't opted for the hammer, I think he would have gotten away scot free with the air dodge. If they Possibly. attempted to attack them. But you would have had another Lucario like in your grill, like still in that area if you tried to air dodge through it. Right. So you it would have been a probably it was probably a frame chat. Charizard. Charizard. Since when? Uh he actually Since when? he actually tweeted about this. So this is this might be more real than you think. Ninja. 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 Alright, I'm not gonna comment on okay, his Okay, so Dan and Ryuga anymore. are going with the Pokemon theme. I mean I respect it. I hope he goes Charizard. What's the worst colored Charizard skin you think? Uh, green. Green. 100%. Green? I think green I is... I agree. 
Thank you. We actually agree on a color for once. But it's the worst color. Yeah, right. But we right. Are, we have the same opinion yeah. about it. So, so um, but to be honest, so I think all of Charizard's are actually pretty bad except probably gray and original. I like red, original, and the silver. Yeah. Red is so bad. Um, they and the I reason why is because like it's like one of the shinies that's like slightly off colored in Pokemon. That's what the red reminds you of. They honestly could have switched the Generation One shiny Charizard with Generation Three. Black Charizard for purple Charizard. Ooh, there's a good down throw to forward air conversion from Ryuga. That's what Ryuga's gonna look for if he's trying to go for solo combos. Is either down throw to forward air or down throw to up air. Up smash. That's how you saw Cuba start off uh, game two against Meow and Gally G. Okay, so back there when Ryuga did the back throw on the platform, I actually thought he was going to get cocky and throw out a side B. That probably would have killed. You can do the manly flare. That Let's... didn't kill. Oh no! It was uh, it was one of the weaker hitboxes. Uh, it wasn't like the sweet spot up smash. And up smash is kind of weak in all honesty, especially if you don't have any rage. I was talking about Charizard's forward smash. Oh, the forward smash? Yeah. I was surprised that didn't kill because Charizard's forward smash is so strong. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that didn't kill as well. The yeah, Mecha Koopa coming again to interrupt the grab. That was there a nice up smash, smash right big. there. Yes. Waiting for the air dodge, but didn't capitalize on it soon enough. Oh, and you're actually going to clip your teammate with that hammer. That's going to be the KO for so like a little bit of percent on day. So red team is actually in a pretty commanding lead at this point in time. Dr. Dr. Clean is actually reading the air dodges, but just not timing them right enough for him to get the hit. Let's see if he'll adapt here and pick it up just a little bit. Oh, and just oh, throw out the raw flavorlets! Ryuga, flare. you're a savage! And not and gonna make dies. it back! Wow. I actually thought that he was going to magnet hands the ledge. Uh, no, Charizard actually has deceptively weak magnet hands. Uh, you can't throw out that many raw flare blitzes, and I believe that's the why they gave him such weak magnet hands. Uh -huh. So you can't just like flare blitz from half a stage. You gotta like give yourself a three-quarter stage. And excellent back air coming through. That is one of Charizard's yeah, strongest options. Out of showdown, is actually going to kill Wendy. Day so is at day max is rage. In. This is looking very dangerous for Red Team. Max rage, getting climbing towards max aura, but gonna get four throws. Throw not away. going to kill either. Oh, and there we go. Good that was a nice right reverse there. the jump cancel up smash. That actually took Wendy's stock. So this time we've got Dr. Clean in the 2v1. Oh, Ryuga accidentally friendly firing his teammates. Yes. There we go. That's such a good combo throw right there. And just swatting away with a forward tilt. Oh, look at how small Horasphere is. Definitely. <laughs> really, Ryuga? <laughs> he, just, he just threw Date to the side and said, screw you, I want the kill. Ryuga likes to have fun. Definitely. That's one thing I've noticed, especially when he's playing doubles. He he'll just team with like fun. the other best person here, uh, and just have fun. Up throw is going to take the yep, stock. and up throw should take him out. Yep. Good games. Dan Ryuga is showing an amazing game one and two. They, yeah, they're looking very clean. Go.